If you ask me, I think Chioria Boutique is done for. I mean, what did they expect? Engaging with criminals behind their customers' backs. They kept up a solid front, though. I've even bought from them before. Really? How was it? The owner was plenty fierce. Oh no, we've lost her! <sighs> Did you hear what all those people were saying? Paimon can't believe they bought all that nonsense! Miss Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot of interviews, so the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little... extreme sometimes. Oh, this is all Uter's fault! Paimon would pick him up and throw him across the room too if she could! Wait a second... You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? You know, so she can, uh... finish what she started? <laughs> That would only make the situation worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that too. You've got a point. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there then. And laugh, we're back! Oh, who's this? Ah, this is Miss Letitia. She's also here to see Miss Chiori. You came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? Wait, please don't say you're returning that dress too. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to help her out, I'd be more than willing. Ah, so you've come across that article as well. Yeah, you probably don't know this. But after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Uh... My fiancé owns a small business. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chiori's clothes and how pretty they were. And then? And then, something happened to the business. And we ran into major Mora problems. But didn't Chiori say she was able to make the dress from what was left of the original deposit? Yes. When I came to cancel the order, she asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out and then told me not to worry. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? It is good. It's just... Ah, uh, what a shame. He's not supposed to see it until the wedding day. Well, see, that wasn't actually the issue. He's seen a lot of wedding dresses in his time doing business. So as soon as he saw it... Huh? So wait, that means... Yeah. Miss Chihori covered all the costs and held nothing back. Huh. <sighs> Miss Letitia, I'd really like to use your story for a piece I'm writing about the boutique. Would you mind going on the record? Huh? Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. I think it'd go a long way. Your real experience is more powerful than all those lies combined. Hey, Alof, has Chiori come back here since we left? Huh? I thought you were all together. Well, we were. Um, if she didn't come back here, then do you know of any other places she could have gone? Um... Oh, I remember now. There is this one cliff by the sea. Miss Chiori would always go there whenever she was upset. In that case, why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Letitia, and you two can go look for Miss Chiori. Alright, sounds good. Let's go!